Well, good afternoon. We are in Tumalo, Oregon, uh, heading out to go get a rolled over excavator. It's just a John Deere 35G, 35D, one of the two. It's a little about 7,000 pound mini excavator. The guy, I guess, was digging a ditch, and now the excavator is on its side in the ditch. So, must be a pretty decent sized ditch. I guess we'll find that out here in a few minutes when we get there, and then we'll see what we can do to get it out. All right, we're here at the property, heading out across this field. There's the Cascade Mountains in the background there. And if you look right down there, our excavator is on its side. Now I asked the guy if there were any soft spots or muddy spots out here in the field, and he said no. He drove the excavator across it with no problem. So <laughs> I didn't want to get too into explaining that that's vastly different machines. But hopefully we get out here without getting stuck ourselves. I'm going out in two-wheel drive. That way if it starts to sink and spin, I'm not totally screwed. Or if I put it in four-wheel drive and go until it sinks and spins, then I'm done. So, feels a little soft, but it can be all right. But you see, when you see plants like that, it means there's water in the ground. And here is our excavator. Well, let's go see what we got. Okay, it's not just in a ditch. It's in a hole. It's the same size as the excavator. So you got this big lip here. We have to get it up and over. And the boom's up here, so probably get one line going to the boom up high to help pull it over. Only problem with that is then I gotta drag it straight sideways up this and this is really soft ground so that's going to be a hard pull. Try right to back the truck in here and get as close as I can and then just inch our way forward. The one good thing about that boom being up so high is once I get it here and do a hard pull from the bottom I have one line up high pulling to help pry it up over this edge. Hopefully. I mean ideally it would be spin the machine on its back and come up with the tracks facing forward because that'd be a lot less resistance than one track totally sideways plowing in this but i don't think we have that option here so we'll see what we can do okay here's what we got going on i really want to have this thing turned facing up and pull out of here and make it a whole lot lighter pull on the truck but if you look the cab isn't actually touching the ground at all the cab is totally not touched the thing and hurt it's just that ram and boom right there so i don't want to spin it up because it'll roll it right down into the cab maybe break a window scratch it all up and we don't want to do that so what i'm going to do i've got my low line going up to the boom up there and i've got my main winch going to the blade there snatch block back to the truck in between these two we're going to stand it up and that's going to put this line up really high when that boom goes up then i can hold it with that line so we're going to start pulling on it a bit and see what we can do the only other option is why i kind of rigged it like this is if it starts coming up and i can use this one to start to spin it once we get it stood up i can hold the cab off the bank with that high line there and man we get a lot of phone calls i can hold the cab off the bank with that high line on the boom while i spin it with this main line over here and then we're facing straight up and down and not touching the bank and i can re-rig square off the blade triple line it back and we can just inch it up out of here so that's what i would like to happen but i don't think that's going to happen so i'm planning on just bringing it out of here sideways so let's fire up this remote here and this remote here and we'll stay I wish I had my ice chocks right now, but they're in the Jeep. So we'll just alternate back and forth between these two winches. This one should be able to stand it on its own. And we'll just keep the standing it up part I'm not worried about. 
that's going to be fairly easy. I'm just keeping this one close so that if this one decides to let loose, it catches it from hitting the cab. Okay, now it's going to come up nice and easy. So what do you think? You think we can get it to spin while holding the top with that? I don't think so. Because man, that's what we need to do. Let's get it to spin. How are we going to do that? Okay, let's hold on a second and think about this. Okay, so we re-rigged off the bottom corner of the blade. I'm going to try and see I can make it spin. While holding it with the top. Okay, we need to move the truck forward. Okay, what we did is we moved the truck forward a little bit to get some more room, and then I took this low line and snatch blocked it back to the other side of the truck to help pull the blade that way. And then I still got my high line going up to the boom to hold this thing from going over. And we'll see what we can do. It's spinning like I want, but problem is we can't let it go back now we kind of own it at this point you see we're gonna run into that line right here so we got to stop figure out how we can reroute this I'm slacking this so it's just riding on the cable with no tension. And now I'm going to be able to undo it and bring it around the other side of this cable. Because I've got it held pretty good at the moment. This is probably not the smartest thing to do, but I kind of have to. It's a good thing my wife doesn't watch my videos or I would be in trouble. Okay, now we're on the other side of that. Over the blade. Okay. Now we're clear of that. We can pull a little more. Okay, I forgot to hit the record button once I started going again, but you didn't miss much. The problem is I just flat out don't have enough weight here to anchor and pull that up, and I figured that would be the problem, but I tried anyway. Even wedged against the bank. I've got the winching power, but it just keeps pulling my truck back up out of here. This is six, seven feet straight drop off, and it's just not coming up, so I did the next best thing and got it spun upright some. Pulled on the boom enough to lift the back end up and get a bunch of dirt shoveled underneath it. Now I'm going to go around the other side and grab it from the bottom 
and pull it back out that way so it sits flat and level in the bottom of this ditch. Uh, they're sending a mechanic out Monday anyway. They thought I'd just bring it right up here so they could pull the glow plugs out, go through it all, get it fired back up and back to work. But it's not coming up here with this truck or at least with me running this truck. Uh, so I'm gonna pull my rigging down, go to the other side and pull the back end straight up in that way. And that should, we're now safe. It's not gonna flip over again. That should get it sitting level in the bottom of the ditch and then they can do all their stuff to get it running again down there instead of up here. But it's super hot today and I'm over it. I shouldn't have sold the truck with the boom on it. Okay, it's gonna look like I'm pulling my cable down to the bank right here, and I kinda am, but this is super soft and sandy, and if I get too much closer and pull, it's probably gonna slough off and then I'll end up in the hole with it. That's actually how it ended up in the hole. So we're gonna pull from that low point on the bottom and try to pull it back in here and sit half-ass level so the mechanic can get it checked out and running again. So the cable's in the bank, but it's soft sand. It's just going right through it. It's not hurting anything. So far, it's doing kind of what I want. That's surprising. We might have to throw another line on it here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab the blade over here and just pull it around. This thing should sit fairly level. And that's really all we need, need to do. It'd be nice if it was out of the hole, but all it needs to be is level. So I'll grab this point right here and drag the front end around and... Oh, man, come on. Packed up with dirt all around. My shackle, so I can't get it out. Here we go. You go here, you stay there. And you come here. Okay. Oh. Come to me. You stay. You go. That bucket's going to run over all my staff, but oh well. Oh, it's on a rock. Come on. What you gonna do? Now sit good. Okay, come farther. That rock over there is kind of screwing me. If I grab the bucket now, it'll do exactly what I want, but... There we go. Okay, now sit down. A little more. There we go. Okay. 
That is close enough to level. They can do all the work they need to do on it right there. It should be just fine. So let's pull our rigging down and go home. There it is, sitting upright and level so they can get it running again and put it back to work. And we are heading out of here. So that didn't go exactly as planned or at all as planned, actually not even close to as planned, but the machine is upright. They wanted it upright. The cab didn't touch the ground and everything's good. I just didn't have near enough truck to pull it straight up that bank um, my 12 ton with the boom on it would have been the truck to do that but then that would have been super sketchy getting out in this really soft field so definitely undergun for this job didn't have quite the right equipment but we got it to a spot where they can work on it and get it running again and that was what we really came to do so like i said not calling it a job well done but it's a job done so that is it for this one i'm gonna get out of here and go find some air conditioning to sit in and we'll see you guys next time.